Yeah, you give me life You're here to stay You're with me every day You make it feel like Feel like it's Christmas every day Jesus, I'm yours forever God, you're with me every day Every day Jesus, I'm yours forever God, you're with me every day Come on, come on, let's celebrate Christmas every day
Hi guys, I've missed you so much. It is so good to see you guys. Before I share the message, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you guys know what will happen in the future in the next 5 years or 10 years? It's almost impossible to find out what's going to happen in the future. Well, in the Bible, God told one of the prophets what was going to happen. And hundreds of years later, it really happened. Let me play a short movie clip for you and you will see which prophet God chose to share his message. Isaiah was a prophet. He gave the people of God special messages from God about what was going to happen in the future. Isaiah said that God had a plan to send someone, the Messiah, to rescue people from sin. The Messiah would be a servant of God. Isaiah said, God's servant grew up and he looked very ordinary. No one paid attention to him and they did not want to be his friend. They stayed away from him. God's servant hurt. Isaiah said that people saw God's servant, but they looked the other way. They did not care about him or love him. But God's servant still did what God wanted him to do. He came to help people and save them from sin. The servant was punished. People thought that he was punished because he had done something wrong, but he did not do anything wrong. We were supposed to be punished, but instead of punishing us, God punished him. Then Isaiah said that the Messiah was hurt and treated badly. But he did not say anything, Isaiah explained. People were unfair to him and they took him away. He was treated like a criminal, but he is not a criminal. But even though bad people did this to God's servant, God planned this. When the servant died, he took away people's guilt so God could look at them and say, not guilty. God even said, you're good. God's servant did not stay dead. God brought him back to life. God's good servant will see all the people he saved and he will be happy. Then God will give him a reward, Isaiah said. God will give him honor for doing the right thing and for saving people from sin. God will welcome his friends who once walked away from him. God's servant Isaiah wrote about Jesus. God planned all along that Jesus would die on the cross for our sin. Many years before Jesus was born, Isaiah wrote these words. Jesus is the servant who died to save people from sin. Now, today's Bible story goes back to the time of when Isaiah was a prophet. During this time, King Uzziah had died and people of Judah were scared and afraid because their new king was evil and their enemies, the Syrians, threatened them to kill them and destroy them. But guess what? God sent Isaiah, the prophet, to give them a message of hope. He told of how God would one day rescue those who were faithful to him. This is what God told prophet Isaiah to tell the people of Judah. It is from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. God gave them a promise, a promise that someone from King David's family would be king not just temporarily for a short time, but forever. Isaiah said this king, God's spirit, will be with him, and he will be wise and understanding. He will always do the right thing. He will bring love, joy, peace, and hope for the future. And in the future, this king will bring the nations together and all the people will come to him to witness that he will rule in glory. 
This king's name is Jesus. Jesus is the promised Messiah that God has given us. As you guys already know, it's the last month of the year, December. It's my favorite month of the year too. I love the Christmas season because there's so much joy in celebrating the birth of Jesus. But sometimes it's very easy to forget the true meaning of Christmas. For non-believers who don't believe in God, Christmas might be all about giving and receiving gifts, toys, presents, going on winter vacation, decorating Christmas trees, singing and listening to carols. But we believers must remember the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas is all about Jesus. Jesus was born. He was sent from God to rescue us so that we can be free. Today I want to talk about Advent. Advent means arrival. Well, who's arriving? That's right, Jesus. We're waiting for baby Jesus to be born. During Christmas, we celebrate the Advent, the arrival of Jesus Christ, when He was born in a manger and He died for our sins and rose again in three days and one day He is coming back. Advent is the four Sundays leading up to Christmas, including the day of Christmas. During the season of Advent, you will see candles used to mark the days of December leading up to Christmas. Each candle represents the four Sundays of Advent. They symbolize hope, peace, joy, and love. So kids, when you think about Christmas and the baby Jesus, remember Isaiah's words. He told us that a king was coming, a savior who would bring us peace, help us, and love us forever. Jesus is the Messiah that God and Isaiah had promised, and He is still with us today, ready to help and guide us. For this month of December, as we're waiting for Christmas, let's remember the true meaning of Christ. Don't forget that the greatest gift that has ever been given to us is Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Thank you for coming to the world as a baby to save us. We love you and want to follow you every day. Please help us to trust in you and share your love with the others. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Well, that's it guys. I'll see you guys again. Have a great and awesome Sunday and I'll see you. Bye! One night into the darkness One star shining the brightest Heaven couldn't contain the greatest news Shepherds couldn't believe it Wise men wanted to see it God was sending His only Son to Just